my name is Asher Robinson. Um, I'm originally from Polly's Island, and I set up on the Marsh Walk and do folk art and fish and um, impressionistic sport fish paintings. Shorebirds, jellyfish. This will be, this is my eighth summer, seventh full year setting up doing this. The people in the setting, I would say, the fact that there's uh, all these people, uh, similar age range, and just the amount of people that you meet like on a daily, and the beautiful backdrop. The girls made a, made a lot of friends out here that over the course of the last seven years, like it's a really tight knit group for like the main ones. Like you have this core group, you have of course like people that are like here and then gone, but you have like a core group that have like been here for the last few years and we've all like grown extremely tight. They that make up the Marsh Walk, you have all these people that are like all the different bartenders, the, uh, all the wait staff, you know, even like the managers and some of the owners, you know, are really cool and have uh, become very close with like family, like David and uh, everyone at Creek Rats and uh, people at Dead Dog and Drunken Jack and my neighbors have managed Wicked Tuna. And Merle's Inlet is extremely unique. There's not like very many places that I can, you know, even think of or that even exist where you're this close to the ocean you have this waterfront access you have like an association of like I said like eight or nine different restaurants and bars you could be on a boat and in five seven minutes be out in the ocean um, very very cool setting very very unique uh, personally I think it's way better in Key West and that's like, you know, after going and spending a little bit of time this winter in Key West, I thought Key West was overhyped and that uh, Merle's Inlet honestly is like probably one of the most like unique, fun places that is in the country, probably. It has to be. I'm located behind Creek Rats, uh, right there on the Marsh Walk. I would say you'd have to experience the Marsh Walk just as a whole because it is, it is like there's each place is its own like little different microcosm and offers something different than the one next to it. Um, like Creek Rats is extremely like family friendly and, it's, and very uh, child friendly. And then you have from there all the way to, you know, like Wicked Tuna, which is kind of like the opposite end of the spectrum. And it like offers all of said things. We have just so much stuff going on throughout the course of the day, like jet ski rentals, the dive boat going in and out, the brew boat going in and out. Uh, Drunken Jacks probably has some of the best pina coladas on earth. Uh, just a lot going on and I'm a boat fan. And so, you know, you have all of this with being able just to have like dock your boat here and jump off and be able to like walk up to any of these places. I would enjoy the Marsh Walk because I think it's really given me an opportunity to like display what I do and I don't think I would be able to do what I've done for a living for the last seven, eight years if it wasn't for the Marsh Walk in this kind of scenery, in this setting. Like it's given me the opportunity to not only like get art out but be, take part in all these different things like make t-shirts for a lot of the fishing tournaments that they have go on and like even the mullet hut where we sit right now, like signed a couple shirts for them and just the grand opportunity that it's just presented overall is why I think I really like the Marsh Walk. Um, it's given me the opportunity to even go beyond uh, doing just what I started off doing, with, which is like impressionist sport fish on, on um, the plywood where it's, it's enabled me to get into like 3D projects like Wicked Tuna I was able to make like a 10 foot uh, statue representation or monument of their logo and then from that one I did one of a giant octopus that is down at Wahoo's and uh, all the logos and art on the walls and uh, 
Claw House and a bunch of stuff at Wahoo's and the fear and loathing at uh, the Love Shack thing of Bubba in Bubba's and some of the art in here and I don't know it's just been this like grand opportunity it's almost been like in some odd ways my own like personal outdoor gallery like just a, a showcase that I've been able to like get all of the stuff out like that's mixed media from one end of the spectrum doing like impressionist fish to 3D monuments and statues. It's been really cool. Like the, the inlets offer me a lot of opportunity, like an extreme amount of opportunity that I'm like forever grateful for.